It's official. Portia and Simon are now husband and wife. But rumors are that allegedly Portia and Simon kept this big secret from their wedding guests. And that big secret left one of their sides of the family very upset. What was the secret? And whose family isn't feeling it? Well, I have some new information that may answer those questions and more right after this. What's up Kenfo and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. Alright Kenfo, come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly Portia and Simon were keeping this big secret from their wedding guests. What was the secret? And who side of the family isn't too happy about this big secret? Well, I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more. And here it goes. Rumors are that even though Portia and Simon had their dream Nigerian wedding, allegedly someone side of the family wasn't too happy after they learned this big Portia and Simon secret. One source said, Portia was a beautiful Nigerian bride. She was absolutely gorgeous and glowing. You could really see that she was finally living her fairy tale dream. However, it was evident that not everyone was happy with Portia securing her dream marriage. And to be honest, said the source, how could they? The source continued, Portia and Simon kept this alleged secret close to their chest. So, you can imagine when this particular side of the family got to the wedding and learned what Portia and Simon were hiding, their excitement quickly turned to disappointment. So, the question is, what is this alleged big secret Portia and Simon were hiding? Well, rumors at the wedding suggest that allegedly Portia managed to marry Simon without a prenup which allegedly sent his family and friends through the roof. Another insider said, when this rumored secret was revealed to several guests, they were shocked. They just knew Simon would have protected his millions from Portia, but it seems like he hasn't. The source continued, Simon's real family and friends know his true net worth and how hard he has worked to build his fortune. While he may not be a billionaire yet, his assets allegedly are putting him in striking, in striking distance of joining the billionaires club very soon. So knowing this, his close family and friends feel he was outplayed by Portia. He is at risk, said one source, of losing half of everything if he and Portia ever were to get a divorce. Another source said, what was so shocking about this rumor is that allegedly for the past six months, Simon appeared to be very adamant about signing a prenup and that Portia's hands seem to be tied. Many are, not, many are now not sure what happened between the summer and now, but it seems that Simon had a huge change of heart. One person close to the couple who wished to remain anonymous said, to be honest, Simon is really in love. More than what a lot of people, fans, and bloggers may know. Portia is indeed his dream wife, and he's willing to bet it all on his fairy tale marriage. A lot of us sure hope Portia is all in as well, ended the source. However, many in Portia's camp say that she is indeed all in with her marriage to Simon, but like so many things with Portia, we will just have to wait and see. The source did continue to say, for what is worth, Portia and Simon made a beautiful bride and groom and genuinely looked happy on yesterday. Now, Kenfo, when this rumor um, came to me this morning about Portia and Simon allegedly not signing a prenup, I was shocked. And I was shocked because of this reason. It just seems as if at Simon's age, 
after what I want to say three failed marriages that um he would have entered into this uh marriage with Portia um with with more caution and he would have entered this marriage um protecting his uh, vast wealth. Now all this is a legend information and speculation. But however, if you are to believe this rumor that he went into this marriage without a prenuptial agreement, you would honestly have to ask yourself, how crazy could he be? And it just left me shocked. Simply because also, my sources are saying that behind the scenes, Simon is a very, um, is a very witty businessman. He is always five steps ahead of any business trends or any business transactions. So it's very baffling that he would enter into a marriage which many see as a business contract no matter who you're marrying without any protection of his assets so with that being said that's part of the rumor really left me shocked and for my sources are saying some of them were shocked as well and as it was reported it seems over the summer that simon was really adamant about signing a prenup with portia there were also some alleged rumors that that was the real reason why the wedding was canceled and pushed back into the fall is because the two couldn't come to any type of agreement on what to put in their prenup in the uh, event of a divorce. But, however, it seems as if, if you are to believe this rumor, that Portia managed to pull off what a lot of people saw was impossible. Marrying a millionaire slash soon to be alleged billionaire without a prenup. The ultimate come up. But Kenfolk, it's also something about this rumor that I do not find so surprising. And it's this. Many people saw Portia quitting all of her jobs as Portia being arrogant. Like I finally got me a rich Nigerian husband. I don't need to work anymore. And people saw it as Portia being lazy and Portia being arrogant. However, I always saw it as something more strategic. I just didn't know what that strategy was. And now that we have this uh, alleged information from this rumor, now it seems as if it's all coming into focus and I can see what the strategy was from the beginning. Now it seems as if Portia was very strategic in leaving all of her jobs because she was able to um, enter into a marriage with Simon coming from a lower, uh, a lower financial position. So if you come into a marriage and marry someone without a prenup and you're basically living off of their income as your main source of income, then a divorce lawyer or a divorce uh, judge may say, hey, she's going to get half of everything because she has become accustomed to living this, this certain lifestyle, which is a very smart move if you are to believe the rumors that allegedly this is the play that Portia is making or has made. Now, I will say this. It does seem as if a lot of people can argue the fact that Portia was very successful on her own before getting into a marriage and relationship with Simon. And I will argue you are correct. However, I will say this. How lucrative were Portia's businesses before she got with Simon? And could those businesses afford her to live this now very luxurious lifestyle where money seems not to be an object? And that's the big question. So with that being said, if the two were to ever, and we don't want to jinx their marriage, but let's just say if it ever got to the point to where they were in front of a divorce judge, then a judge may say, yeah, Portia probably did have some businesses coming into this, but they were not enough to sustain her now current lifestyle. Which brings me to the next part of this rumor that I find very interesting, and it's this. Knowing that these particular rumors are out there about Portia potentially being a gold digger and things of that nature and trying to marry up as her ultimate goal, I can see why Portia and Simon would allegedly keep this um, a secret if they did not get a prenup. Because it seems as if both families' opinions of uh, the bride and the groom have really been tainted somewhat by public perception from also what they know behind the scenes and what we have seen on camera. So can you imagine all the drama that's going on behind the scenes that we don't even know about? And you couple that with all the drama in front of the camera that we have been seeing and have been documented for the past year and a half or so. Just putting all of that together, I can only imagine how stressful that could be for Simon and how stressful that could be for Portia. Especially when you're trying to uh, plan your dream wedding and start your dream uh, marriage together. 
So a decision as intimate as this, I will say I probably would have kept it secret as well because I can only imagine how much drama and how much hassle that would have put on an already stressful situation for the two. Now, a lot of people are arguing that, you know, Simon can get a post nump if he feels things are not going the way that he thought they would. However, I would argue from what I've seen, a post nump always seems to benefit the person who has gone into the marriage from the lower uh, financial standpoint. Because it seems as if they have all of the tools and have all of the chips on their side. Simply because they can sign a, pre, a, a post nump or however they can say, make the post nump fair. Or we can take it to a judge and I just take half of everything right off the rip. So with that being said, there are some options still left for Simon. But if you are to believe these rumors, it may seem as if that he should have made this decision before uh, walking down the aisle. Now, Kimfo, I'll be honest with you, even with this alleged information, I should still find it hard that Simon would not sign a prenup with Portia. But we just have to wait and see. And also, Kimfo, on top of that, my sources also said that the wedding yesterday, the Nigerian wedding, was beautiful, very intimate, and for what it was, everyone seemed to be having a good time and really enjoying themselves. And Portia and Simon, again, looked great. But Kim folk, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think Simon was smart for not allegedly signing a prenup with Portia and doing a post nump just in case things went left just to keep drama down with their families? Or do you think Simon should not have walked down that aisle without a prenup with Portia? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, Kim folk, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys over on the next one. Peace.